But we're talking about, hallelujah, trusting in God and not, 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 not worrying, praise God. Hallelujah. It's a, a spirit of a fear and a spirit of worry and a spirit of, hallelujah, of anxiety, praise God. And then a spirit of oppression comes, hallelujah. And that's all tied in with fear. And oppression is a fearful emotion. The fear of the unknown. Anticipation, anticipation of adversity or misfortune. Already speaking, hallelujah, speaking damnation over oneself. Hallelujah, glory to God. Suspicion or fear of the future or fear that there's going to be trouble. See, many a times, amen, the word of God says that there's life and death in the power of the tongue. So you better be very careful of what you speak and what you say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's life and death in the power of the tongue. Huh? So if you keep speaking, amen, huh? will you just like your daddy, hallelujah. Now, I don't know what daddy was like, huh? but glory to God. Huh? What you are unique and all in yourself. Huh? But you got to speak life huh? into your kids' lives. Huh? you got to speak life huh? into your own life. Huh? You don't have to be huh? like mama and Bobo, huh? but that you can make a difference huh? because you are the chosen one. You are the royal generation. You are part of the royal priesthood. Huh? So you say to yourself, huh? I am more than a conqueror huh? in Christ Jesus. Huh? God has placed me the head huh? and not the tail. Huh? God has placed me above huh? and not the beast. Huh? Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Huh? Stop speaking salvation huh? over yourself. Huh? Just because your mama was an alcoholic, huh? that means that you will be an alcoholic. Huh? Just because your daddy was a dope dealer, huh? that doesn't mean that you got to be a dope dealer. Huh? But you got to cut huh? that thing at the root huh? and say the devil is a liar. Huh? So my mama might have been, oh, huh? glory to God, an alcoholic. Huh? I cut this spirit huh? at the root huh? in every generation, huh? in every generation to come. Huh? There will be no alcoholic huh? in my village, glory to God. Huh? Hallelujah, that murdering spirit. Hallelujah, in my family's life. Because see, nine years ago, I had a brother that got killed in Dallas, Texas also. Hallelujah, I'm the old God me, that's all right. That's all right. But I'm telling you something. When you and my grandmother, God bless her, God bless her, not bless her soul, because she's 88 years old. And she's outlived, amen, she had six great-grandchildren to die from birth shot wounds. Oh, glory to God. And I said, Lord, this is a generation of curse. But I said, no more. That stops here. I draw the line. I cover my family. I cover every generation. And every generation, and every generation after that, we will never look a loved one to crush up, to murder. I cross that murdering spirit.
communion with the Father. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It's time to have real communion. Cut out a prayer time. Hallelujah for yourself. So that you can intercede for your family. So that you can intercede for the ministry. So that you can intercede for the leaders. So that you can intercede for the world. And when you, and when you pray, stop praying the problem and start praying the solution. Stop praying the problem and start praying the solution. Because I believe in these 66 books, glory to God. There is a solution for every problem that we go through in our lives, one way or the other. Oh, glory to God. Stop praying the problem and start praying the solution. I stand on the word of God. So when you stop worrying and trust God, will you stop worrying and give it to God? Jesus. Hallelujah. Because see, you got to realize your life was already predestined from the very foundations of the earth. Everything that you've gone through, everything that you're going through, and everything that you will go through, it was already predestined by God. Hallelujah. So the Bible says over in Romans 8, 28, it says that we know that all things work together for the good for those who love God and those who are called according to his purpose. See, when you got a calling on your life, hallelujah, it is what it is. You gotta know that you know that the God that you serve is able to do it. He's able to do it exceedingly and abundantly all of all we can ever hope or imagine. But you gotta learn how to stop worrying and trust God. Worrying accomplishes nothing. Worrying is not good for you. And worrying is the opposite of trusting God. See, i got to go back to my foundation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pastor Mitchell, what I always say, if you want to pray about it, then don't worry. And if you worry, then why pray? Yeah. So you got to pray about this thing, and you got to let it go and trust God that he's going to do it. And in the midst of all that you go through, we got to be like Job. Come on now. Job 13 and 15 says, though they slay me, he Come may on. slay me. Say it. Will I trust him? Say it. Will I trust him? Say it. Through the midst of all that I'm going through and all the torment that I'm going through. See, you haven't been crucified and hung on the cross. But Jesus was. You see, when you get to the point to where you get crucified and hung on the cross, then you, you call and say, man, do we really know you really going through something? Oh, glory to God. See, you got to know where your help comes from. And that we got to quit putting our faith in men. Quit putting our faith in these jobs. But we got to know that, yeah, God blessed us with the job as a uh, Source. But God is my resource. The job is a source just to get me by. But God is my resource. Oh, glory to God. Do you believe me today? Hallelujah. Come on and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Come on and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Come on and give God some praise. Come on, you this. Come on, change that beat. Because I'm here to tell you, glory to God. God is looking for the warriors for real. He's looking for the W-A-R-R-I-O-R-S. Not the warriors, the W-A-R-I-E-S. See, a warrior is ready for the battle at all times. A warrior is equipped for the battle. A warrior has been through the thing. So even if the enemy comes in like a floodgate,